हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू माय पॉडकास्ट द ब्लू फाइव वा वुमन विनिंग वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड टुडे इट्स ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस टू थिंक ऑफ अ लाइफ विदाउट मूवीज बिकॉज इट इज अ मीडियम बाय विच वन एंटरटेन्स वन सेल्फ इवन इफ इन आइसोलेशन बट वॉट इफ इट इज नॉट अवेलेबल वी कांट जस्ट इमेजिन कुछ सफर हमें अकेले ही तय करने होते हैं सो फ्रेंड्स movies have now become inseparable part of our life but it was a time when working in movies was not considered prestigious no glamour nothing but yet there was a wow woman who dared to go against all and impact of her first entry in this world has opened the door for all other women who have created their career in cinema field. so friends round of applause to our today's wow woman durga bai kam log kahan yaad aate hain parda gir jaane ke baad log kahan yaad aate hain parda gir jaane ke baad par kirdar zinda rehte hain mar jaane ke baad durga kamat durga kamat was a marathi theater actress who went on to become the first actress of indian cinema during the early 20th century cinema was just a rising industry in india and it was a space reserved exclusively for men reserved exclusively for men it was considered a taboo for women to be part of cinema it said that dada saheb phalke now known as father of indian cinema could not manage to find even one female actor to act in his movie raja harishchandra in 1930 such was the condition that falke finally had to cast a male actor to play the role of harishchandra's wife tarama it was during that age that durga bai kamat took the courageous step of pursuing a career in acting paving the way for numerous other women in the industry durga bai kamat was a marathi actor who was the first actress in indian cinema she was born in 1899 in brahmin family she studied up to the 7th standard and was then married off to anand nanoskar a history teacher at the jj school of arts in mumbai they had a daughter together kamla bai but the marriage did not work out so in 1903 they parted away and durga bai decided to raise her daughter alone there were very little employment options available for women during that time for a single mother it was even more difficult to find a job since society ostracized such women altogether the only choices in front of durga bai were either to become a domestic servant or a prostitute or an actor durga bai chose the latter and her choice made this societal ostracization even more complete and rigid than before becoming an actress was considered a taboo as acting was not viewed as a respectable job for women durga bai was now disowned by her own brahmin community as well durga bai first joined a traveling theater company She roamed around with the company for most part of the year performing at various places since her daughter Kamla Bai had to travel with her she decided to give her home schooling side by side so that Kamla Bai could have an education despite living such a nomadic life no choice at all it was when durga bai took up dada saheb phalke's offer to act in his second film Bhasmasur Mohini in 1914 that she made her debut in the cinema the full length silent movie was made in the year 1914 by none other than father of indian cinema dada saheb phalke little did she know at that time that she was also making history and setting the record for becoming the first woman to have ever acted in indian cinema in fact it was not just she who made history with bhasmasur mohini but her daughter kamla bai too who acted in the movie became the first child actress of indian cinema 
she created a new episode of Indian history of cinema by portraying the role of goddess Parvati in the movie while her daughter played the parallel lead of Mohini in the film interestingly it said that the fire caste opposition faced by durga bai came not from other women but men in those days only men played female roles hence the fiercest opposition to durga bai and her daughter came from men to whom this pair of mother and daughter were first natural enemies some companies just would not hire women as a rule said her daughter kamla bai in an interview however for the sake of supporting her daughter durga bai kept persevering it's sad that most of durga bai's life history has been lost in time even her name has remained largely forgotten in the public consciousness durga bai kamat was an incredible woman who forged her profession in fire and fury she was a single mother who decided to break the patriarchal boundaries created for women she was a woman with immense talent and hard work imbibed in her her daughter had sung many praises about her mother's talent including her ability to paint sing and play numerous instruments like dilruba been cartel and sitar she was also fairly educated for a woman at that time having finished 7th grade which was considered the final year of schooling in those days she even attempted to give her daughter an education by home schooling her while they were on the move with the traveling theater company kamat's act encouraged many other women to work in cinema but it was not until much later that the numbers increased manifold the legacy of acting continued with kamath's daughter kamla bai gokhle her grandson the veteran marathi actor chandrakant gokhle and her great grandson vikram gokhle and mohan gokhle she died on may 17 1997 in pune maharashtra at the age of 97 but she left behind the great legacy kehti hai mujhe zindagi ki main aadte badal lu kehti hai mujhe zindagi ki main aadte badal lu bahut chala main logo ke piche ab thoda khud ke sath chal lu ab thoda khud ke sath chal lu meet you tomorrow with next wow woman till then keep smiling be happy bye bye